it's Sarah and look what I got I I really I'm really trying not to get too much but I had to go out and check out these um, Jane Davenport has put out a whole bunch of new she has her own supply line now and it's made by American Crafts and they are available at Michaels and at her website <clears throat> so I saw an unboxing video last night um, and just thought well let me go check them out so I went over to Michaels and I thought these would come in handy they're acrylic paints in the tube I figured I'd check their quality um, this kit is one two three four paints and this is the face painting kit or the you know yeah face painting kit I would say it doesn't say that it just says matte acrylic paint set and it comes with this stencil and a brush so I bit, bit the bullet and I decided yeah I'm gonna play with it so I haven't played with the stencil too much I did just kind of trace it out and you know but I will get to it I'm definitely um, I'm pushing myself this year to do things that I haven't done before because sometimes I will blow it off if I don't feel comfortable or if I don't feel like I've done it and I know enough about it because I have to work a little bit you have to think about what you're doing it's much easier to sit down when you know what you're doing and you're comfortable with it you know so faces are something that I haven't done very much of and so of course it's a little bit more daunting right um, but the acrylic paints, because Jane works in watercolors as a rule, and I was really tempted to get, she has this set of water brushes that were gorgeous. The colors, they're watercolor ink already in the brushes, ready to go. And I think that was around 30 bucks. Um, this was 20, and I used a 40% off coupon and got $8 off. So, you know, what's that, around 11 something for the four paints and the stencil and the brush so but I've used them already I'll show you what I did um, I also ordered on Amazon because I am taking Wonderlust this year Wonderlust is an online retreat um, all year long a hundred bucks and you get I don't know I want to say 24 classes at least usually it's about two a month um, and there may be more I took Lifebook last year and um, this time it's run by Kasha and Jamie, um, what is her last name, Avery, I want to say, I might be wrong. Um, anywho, uh, it started today, so that's what I'm, I wanted to film because I am so proud of myself because I actually did the first journal page. But um, I ordered these two DecoArt Media products because I know Andy Skinner is teaching at uh, Wonderlust and he's big into these deco art media products he uses them quite a bit um, if you watch any of his um, tutorials on on YouTube um, and actually at the deco art website um, he has some uh, tutorials there so I got the crackle paste which I wanted to try you can put that through a stencil I'm very curious about that and black gesso which I've just never had black gesso so I wanted to get some of that um, I also ordered this golden fluid acrylics this is the quinacridone nickel azo gold nickel azo gold and I don't know much about these quinacridone colors I'm not sure what that indicates when something is called quinacridone so um, I need to Google it and find out and look into that a little bit more but look how tiny this is only one fluid ounce of paint um, these are I would I want to say it was a little while ago that I ordered it but I want to say this was five bucks at least um, for the fluid acrylics and DecoArt actually makes um, a fluid acrylic line as well and I was tempted to get them and again I'm gonna use what I have because I do believe that you can add mediums to your regular craft paints or your heavy body paints to get a similar result you know maybe not as high intensity color or pigment but I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna you know I want to see um, what what the results are before I invest in a whole bunch more paint I really like I said I just bought these 
Um, these are pretty cool. They're, I would say they're on the heavy bodied side. They're not because I just use regular, usually I use the um, craft paint like by Americana and stuff. And these are definitely seemed a little more heavy bodied. So um, I really just want to try and use what I have. I also ordered some of these and you mixed media artists have already gotten these, but I bit the bullet again, I tell you, and I got these fine line applicators. Now these are little bottles that you can fill with either paint or I think I'm going to put acrylic ink in here. I bought some of the, um, <sighs> I could get up and get them, but I think I'm going to use them in here and you can then use this squeeze bottle and this fine tip applicator and you can write with it. So for doing mixed media, it's a, it's a cool thing to have. And so I just, it's been in my, um, wish list on Amazon and I think it was a buy with thing or whatever they call it like I had to spend a certain amount to get it I don't know so I got those because I already had this one and this one isn't I don't remember this isn't by fine liner I don't think but this basically just goes on top of your bottle your paint bottle so I had this with the white for a while and I was using it but I cleaned it out I took it off my white and um, you know I'm gonna see what I want to use it for oops it's got water in it um, so that's kind of all I've bought lately I really am trying to be good I don't want to just go and buy I bought this journal <laughs> this I got at I think it was $14 on Amazon and I got it at Michaels and used a coupon and it came down to $14 so it's at least 20 it's at least $20 at Michael's and this is the um, Diane Reevely the big journal I have the uh, the 9 by 8 by 8 or 9 by 9 I have this one and I'm gonna I have two projects that I want to do in here I've worked some in it but not a ton and um, I want to get back to doing it I really am I really want to try and that's why I wanted to make this because I'm really proud of myself I did actually do the first project um, Kasia, Kasia taught it. She's Polish. She's from Poland, but I think they live in Wales, her and her husband, Jamie. And so we did our first project. I just wanted to share it because I did use the Jane Davenport paint. So we, ha we wrote a little bit, a synopsis of what we hope to get out of, uh, Wonderlust and our journey this year with art. And then this is my page. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I didn't have all the supplies that she had. I had a lot of them. Um, and I just followed along and did my best. But what I love about it is we came to um, the, the whole thing was to figure out what your kind of mantra would be for the year, right? So mine's to feel inspired, create my own style, and have fun. Um, and then I just put January up there and I used new stamps that I hadn't used before. I've, I'd gotten these at, um, where did I get these? Hobby Lobby. And they're just little wooden stamps. But it was fun, you know, so I, I used some of the big ones and some of the little. I'd like to get the numbers of this too. Um, yeah. And, uh, but I love it. And it was, I did use the Jane Davenport paint. So I wanted to show you, I used the the rosy color and then I think it's the lightest color of the face color and a little bit of the orangey one and I just love them they are really beautiful vibrant colors um, you know I covered up a lot of what I what I um, what I uh, collaged down there but I just used what I had because she had she was having you kind of pull pictures that um, are close to your heart. So she had actually printed out some pictures, her own personal pictures, which I'm not good at that and I didn't have it, so I just used what I had. But I'm very happy with it and I just followed her along and did it. And so I have completed my first project for the year. And so here it is. This is my life, or well, not life book, Wonderless Journal, page one, check. So I'm just gonna continue along and go throughout the year. I don't know how many pages are in here. So we'll have to see if I can, if I fill this up by the end of the year, but I'm really looking forward to it. So I wanted to share that. I'm just, I'm super excited that I did it because this is what I was going to say. Um, 
when I watched the video, I watched the class, <clears throat> I wasn't, you know, thrilled about, like, I, I don't know if I wasn't in the mood this morning, because it was this morning, I'm sitting there drinking my coffee and watching and just thought, well, I don't know, it's just, it's not really, it's just, you know, and it was just playing. And that's the thing. I needed to play. And I had so much fun. Like, I could have blown it off. Because it's not really anything. It's not like a work of art masterpiece. That's, you know, that that was the thing, too. She, they definitely um, don't want you to be a copycat. And that was one of my big things. I That's why I said create my own style. I want to learn techniques and processes, but then add my own um, tweaks to it, you know, um, so all said and done, I'm so happy that I did it because it was so fun. I think it turned out super cute. Um, I did learn something and I did it in my own style. This does not look like what hers looked like, you know, um, and I used what I had. So it was, it was very, very fun. And I, I think it's pushed me now to do this. I want to do it every month, no matter whether I have all the products they have or not, I want to do a little bit of whatever they're teaching on a page and just do, because it's fun. That's the point. If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't do it. Um, so I did it and I'm very, very, very pleased with that. Now, the other thing, and I'm going to, I'm going to do these in my art journal. Um, I want to, I don't, I did it on watercolor paper because the artist was doing it on watercolor paper and her name, I don't know what her name is, Studio Silver Creek. Um, she has a couple of abstract design um, videos. And this is basically just using paint that she brush mixes and blends a background and then just puts lines with black paint and makes an abstract design, a little bit of shading, and then goes to town with white and black doodles. And I just loved how it came out. And I really, I was thinking that I was going to cut these into, um, and I still may, but I really like it. I don't know that it would look the same if you, if I cut it apart. Um, but I was going to make bookmarks. I was going to cut them apart and then um, laminate them. Because when I sell on Etsy, I like to put a little gift in there. Uh, but I, like I said, I really, I really think it's nice. Oh, I hear somebody tapping. I really think it's nice the way it is. And then the, this was another one that she did with circles that I, I wasn't thrilled. I did it twice because the, this was the first one I did. And I think, um, see, this is the thing. I am a copycat. I tend to feel more comfortable knowing where I'm going with something. So when I copy or follow along with directions, it's easy and comfort, comfortable. But that isn't necessarily I want to try and create my own style so I can take her ideas and then bring my own spin to it um, so I did it again and I just tried to be I don't know this time I used my uh, Posca paint pens and because this was all just done with paint and brushes and this one I used my Posca paint pens and just made things a little smaller they're basically the same but aren't they super cool and so fun? Like, you really don't have to focus too much. It's a very, um, I'm not going to do a tutorial or anything because she has, uh, it's actually set to music and I think it is sped up, but it's not, it's a no-brainer. Like, there's, it's not like it's hard to figure out what she's doing. So, um, I'm going to be putting these into my art journal and we'll see if I cut these up. I'm not sure. Um, so that's it, really. Um. Definitely excited. It's a new year. I feel good. I feel inspired already. I'm, um, I mean, it's the weekend now, so <laughs> everybody's home. And I can't believe how fast time goes. And, you know, so, um, but hopefully I'll find some time this weekend to get in here and play a little bit more. Um, and I'd like to share what I'm going to make. Maybe we'll do a, um, a start to finish again with a little bit of some of these techniques that I'm learning. Uh, with the collage and all that stuff. Maybe I'll do a face again. We'll see. All right, you guys. That's it. Thanks for watching.